Jamie. And I'm Stefan. And we, and we are... are... We always had a dream to travel Australia. So we packed up our lives and began our adventure in our renovated caravan called Rocket. Be sure to tune in every week to see where our adventures take us next. We are currently at the largest cactus garden in Australia. Yeah. And it's, uh, check it out. How big is it now? 12 acres. 12 acres. Massive. Guess what? What? We have it all to ourselves. Yep, there's no one else here yet, but uh, check out this guy. I want to pat him on the head, but ow. <laughs> I didn't realize I put masks on him. Yeah. That's funny. Stummy in that one from the baby. Oh man, I put a face. It's creepy eyes. Cactus with a face. Look at this monster. Jesus. Huge. Yeah, there is a lot of different types. I'll try to, you know what, I'll put some pictures up. It's actually called the cactus monster. The cactus monster. Yeah, that's cool as. The cactus monster. I'll put some pictures up of the highlights because there's some pretty cool ones around here. I'll try and include them all. So it looks like uh, we found out that the brakes on this was uh, like really, really hot. And I was wondering why, so I took off the, the wheel and say goodbye to our pads. This is supposed to be right here. So when we first got this, it was locked on for a, for a while and it got insanely hot and started smoking. And I'm guessing that's uh, yeah damaged them beyond repair and it's just yeah come off completely. And that is probably why it's getting so hot. So I actually ended up replacing the shoes on the back one and full on replacing the actual other one. And oh my god, it's so nice having proper functioning brakes. I definitely recommend if you guys, anyone's living in a caravan, check it. If it's getting hot, there's a reason. Once I finished with the brakes, I found the nearest oval. And it was absolutely huge, it's a great oval for it. And I took off to the skies to check out the, the town. And it's a pretty cool town. I um, unfortunately didn't get to see a huge amount because the uh, there's like a little throttle thingy. Like a little, little metal thing where the throttle cable's connected to. And like, it was somewhere around when I got over that little islandy bit and it just like snapped. I have no idea how it really happened, but the uh, part of the throttle broke. As you can see, I'm moving the throttle around. It made no difference. So um, yeah, this like part of the thing that holds the throttle cable to the actual car bay snapped, like the actual metal. So um, I had to make uh, a landing because I definitely wasn't going anywhere. So um, yeah, that was pretty pretty shocking. Never expected that sort of thing to happen, but you know these things happen. So um, you had to land, and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like when I get it to the floor. Okay. Huh. It snapped off. What the shit? Well, that's why the. Uh... God damn it. God damn it. No throttle for me. Look at that. Alright, so since the uh, the throttle failed in the paramotor, I've uh, since put this here, so that's my maximum, and it can't, obviously I can't push further than that, because it looks like before it wasn't really set at all, so if I pushed harder, it would literally just bend this thing here. So now, um, now if I do that, it stops, like right at its maximum. 
just like a maybe a millimeter away from pushing against that bottom piece of metal. So now it's it's stopping instead of just pulling on that metal. But that's it. Check out the weld. Welded it back on. It's a pretty complete weld, which is good. And it's the same on the other side, so it's a real big bubble. I've uh, backed off the idle a little bit because I think it is bent slightly upwards. If you see that. Ooh. Where is it? Yeah, if you can see that, slightly bent towards. So I backed it off a little. Let's see how that goes. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna start it up. Wish me luck. All right, let's see how this goes. Stay prop. So that town that I was just in, it was called Numerica, if I'm saying that right. And it's a pretty pretty adorable little town. It's got a lot of cool stuff. There's a there's a few things to check out. It's not it's not very big, but um yeah, we also checked out this uh this this isn't quite in America, but um this is like a, a sunflower field. It is massive, absolutely massive. Figured we'd fly the drone over. Um also that cactus place, that was also in Numerica sort of area. And yeah. Then we headed to the Murray, and my unicycle charge port broke. Well, that's gay. My charge port fell down. <laughs> so I just had the... I changed the charger port, and I um, turned it on, and the light turned on, and pretty much dead. It wouldn't, wouldn't do anything, but I plugged it in, the light turned on, but it wouldn't go... Actually, let's see if the charger port works now. Will it... Be all good. I'm scared. Ah, oh, red charging. Oh man. Whew. And it looks like it's good, solid. I can move it around. No more tripping over it though, that's for sure. So um, yeah, it was like dead when I put it all back together. It would light up like the light would when I held it down, but as soon as I let go, light turned off. Nothing came up in the app. And I found out it's because there was a minuscule. Let me just see if I can zoom in on this. So if anyone ever has this problem. There's a minuscule amount of solder. I'm gonna use something plastic. Right, here we go. See, I was soldering this, re-soldering that back on, and there's a tiny bit just bridging this little connection here over this tiny little whatever the bed is, and that was completely killing it. It wasn't working because there was a tiny bit of solder across that little brown thing. And then we made it to the Mare. This place is, uh, it's called Little Tom's, or Big Tom's Beach. I'm not really too sure which one it is but it is beautiful. It's like soft sand going straight into the Murray. I definitely recommend it. This is the first time we've ever been to the Murray. We uh, met some people that took us wakeboarding. First time I ever went wakeboarding. And um, yeah, also flew from this spot on the paramotor and did a bit of kayaking down the river as well. It's a fantastic spot for motorbiking, everything. We're riding with us to Oh man, so muddy. Alright, now, Chelsea injuries. First real fall. <laughs> Did you just walk in it? That's what's I can tell that. Came along there, slid and fell here. Yeah, it's pretty slippery. Oh man. Definitely gonna have to hose that off. Gotta love the Murray. We're uh, canoeing it down. Having a picnic? Having a bit of a picnic. Got the dip and the fancy. Fancy crackers, having a couple of drinks. And just in case it gets a bit tricky to throw, I've got my little uh, drill powered drill powered thingy. But honestly, I don't think it's gonna get tricky to throw because it's literally a pile we have to row. Like, check it out, look at us move. It's mainly just the background, just sort of. Yeah, it's a nice, nice kind of speed. And the umbrella is for the sun. Yep, obviously. Not because it's not rain. It works well. Yeah, there's not a cloud <laughs> in the sky. It's totally not gonna rain. But it was a good idea because it's uh, damn hot and it's nice of the shade. Met some awesome people and uh, they're taking us on their boat. That feels out so keen. 
Wee! Ah, the people you meet while camping. Gotta love it. First yet, though, I think we're gonna be going, oh, it's my baby. But I think they may be trying to. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna try this because of the whole smash my knee pretty bad. And my ankle, my leg, and my wrist is killing me. But I'll see, maybe I will. I'll see how it looks. And how fast I want to punch it. <laughs> What are we doing, Stefan? I think we're row, row, row the boat gently down the stream. Hey! Merry, 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 merry life is a trick. <laughs> we're on Edwards River. It's very beautiful here. Ready for a bit of lazy? Whoop. There we go. Stroll on the back. Ah, so peaceful. The drills definitely aren't the quietest, but they're sure are powerful. It's like a two-stroke. So good. Who needs all these fancy motors? Everybody's got a drill. We have one leg on one side of the branch and one on the other. One hand? Yeah, just one hand. What's going on, guys? You want an adorable little fella. I love how chilly it is. <laughs> how high are you? Hi, how are you? Man, it looks stoned. You're looking after this thing. Look at those eyes. I think I might just go back to sleep. So we were off after we uh, had that amazing time at the Murray. We set off towards Echuca. The, uh, this is the path that we, that we took. It was pretty, it was pretty dodgy in areas. Definitely took it slow. This is clearly a hyperlapse because it took me like half an hour. <laughs> but yeah, so at, at Achuca, it was amazing. We um we found this place that was, it's pretty in Achuca. It's a showground and there was a rodeo on one of the days that we were there. So we just like happened to be staying right at where the rodeo was. And it was awesome. I've never been to a rodeo before in my life. And I had never seen like the allure of, um, I guess, taming wild horses and such. But I kind of do now, it is hella entertaining. Um, yeah, there's a, they, uh, they ride bulls, horses, and, um, yeah, they, they almost get knocked out a few times, and it is very entertaining to watch. And, uh, yeah, enjoy the, uh, enjoy the bits that I've recorded. Oh! Okay. 
After the uh, bull and horse rodeo place, good old Chuka, we set off to Kerrang and then Swan Hill where I met up with my brother. We did a bit of exploring around and then um, I went to Murray Sunset where there was um, huge salt lakes, which is pretty awesome. And the reflections in the salt lakes were incredible. I'll definitely put a couple of photos up. See you guys in the next one. Please do like, subscribe and all that jazz and catch you later.